these are the limits of the integrated farming systems lack of the awareness about the sustainable farming systems the farmers is lacking and uh, there is uh, 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 there is very uh, there is uh, lacking of the awareness to the farmers uh, which one is sustainable farming system so if the farmers is aware of the system then automatically it can run if it is uh, it, 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 there is lacking of the awareness the farming system cannot be run and there, there is unavailability of various farming system models. There is different types of farming system models, but uh, these are the this, uh, farming system model is not available for the <coughs> market or not available to the farmers which farming system is best in this situation of this situation. So this, uh, there is unavailable of the farming system model in the region or the states. If the farming system model is there, then it is automatically run the farming system. So it is must to available are the different farming system in the states. The next is <coughs> lacking of the credit facilities. If the farmers having money, or farmers having the some more money, then it can invest. It can invest to run the integrated farming system. If there is lacking, if there is no money, then it can different. It can uh, <coughs> very difficult to run the integrated farming system. So there, it, there should be a credit facility, so that uh, the the farmers can get the money from the banks. Or it is very very. If the farmers are getting the money from the banks, then the, this interest rate is very high. So it is very very difficult to. Uh, <coughs> run the situation because the interest rate is very high. The farmers cannot uh, they adjust, they cannot uh, take the loan from the banks. So it is very important to, there should be a credit facilities. And uh, they are lacking a banking aptitude and uh, the, bank, uh, the banking aptitude is very, uh, very much uh, less uh, towards the farmers. So it is uh, for the running of this system, the banking aptitude should be higher or positive. And non availability of the insure marketing facility, there is a marketing facility is not uh, available uh, because the, there is uh, some perishable materials which cannot uh, keep a uh, longer time. So, for this uh, disposal of this perishable material, there must be the marketing facilities. The lack of marketing facility intelligence among the farmers, lacking of deep freezer and storage facilities should not. Uh, there. So, the, the dipping, deep freezing and the storage facilities should be there so that the farmers can take the uh, product in this uh, deep freeze or the storage facilities. And uh, the dedicated com or committed extension service. If the farmers having the different types of materials, it should be gone to the uh, markets or gone to the among the farmers and for this their extension service should be there. So it is very less to the extension service. So for running this integrated farming system, this the extension service should be strong. The lacking of timely value of the inputs, input is a very important for growing up the, this integrated farming system. So the in, input, the timely available of the input should be very much important. And lacking of uh, knowledge or education among the farming community, especially of the rural youth. If this type of farming, if the integrated farming system is running in the, your areas or your, uh, your states, the, the farmers should be knowledge or educate them so that this integrated farming should be adopted in the rural areas. So these are the limitations of integrated farming systems. And this is the conclusions. The integrated farming system promoting approach for the increasing overall productivity and profitability through recycling of the material. It is uh, profitable in the integrated one so that uh, through the recycling of the byproducts and uh, it is used uh, efficiently so that all the available resources should be recycled. Uh, and uh, it is uh, very important for generating the employment generations, opportunity to develop the employment generation so that uh, the farmers uh, always engage in the farming system. So it is very important to opportunity to develop the employment generations. Uh, so it is meant uh, conclusion of this integrated farming systems. And in this integrated farming system, there is, should be incorporated more enterprises so that all the enterprises should be running day by day or daily so that you can maximum yield to the crops.
and uh, this is very important so in the jharkhand the gotri is very important because it is called uh, the atm atm for the farmers so gotri unit is very important it can sell time to time so the gotri unit should be must in incorporated in the systems so that uh, the farmers can get money time to time <coughs> and this is the conclusions and uh, if uh, there are different types of income in uh, enterprises then you, you should know you should learn so the, the component wise uh, uh, what is the importance of these uh, components this is the dairy unit components uh, if you farmers if this systems if, the, if you have the one hectare area then the, the, there should be two cows because the farming system is based on the uh, your demands of the farmers it is based on the your farmers demands if the farmer demands more accordingly you can uh, incorporate the systems you can incorporate the enterprises so it is based on the farmers demands <coughs> so in the dairy units there should be two much cows and aspect should be 40 feet square per cows in feeding if the cows weight is 3 300 kg so the per day requirement of the Dry feed is 6 kg per day, green fodder should be 20 to 30 kg per day, and the concentration, concentration should be 1.5 to 2 kg per day. And the much, if the cow is milking, then it, it should be give the additional concentrations per 3 kg of the milk. And water requirement, the park cow requirement, water is 3 to 30, 30 to 35 liters per day. So there the water should be there so that the uh, cow can take the water and dung if the uh, this if the system have the mulch cows then the one cow gives your dung 25 to 30 kg per day and urine 10 kg per liters and uh, this is the um, productions if this cow is milk if the, the the cow is there then it should be the milking should be 10 to 15 kg per day so that uh, through this your system can be run and th these are the breeds these are the breeds which is very important like Sahival should be there, Sindhi, Gir, these are the milking cows uh, breeds and all purpose uh, cows is Haryana, Ongalo, Kankrez and uh, these exotic varieties, exotic breed which is Jersey uh, and Brown Swiss and Garnesi, Garnesi, these, these are the exotic breed which can give the more than 10 to 15 kg milk per day. So, this is exotic breed is very important for getting the maximum milk. And buffalo breeds, buffalo breeds is Mura, Nilliravi, and Meshana, Shuti, Japravadi, Godavari, and Badawari. These are the breed of the buffaloes, uh, which can give the maximum uh, milk. This is uh, the cow dung uh, cake. Uh, if you have the cow, then you can uh, dry the, this uh, cow dung cake and you can uh, get the money from your systems. So this is very important. So this is the your value additions, value addition units. This is the poultry units. Uh, if you the farming system is there, then you, you must add the poultry units and duck units. If you have the uh, your uh, fishery units, and these uh, these can be uh, real very much uh, in your systems. In India, the available of egg is uh, 35 uh, capita per year, it, and it is very difficult to get. So, the, but the, our recommendation is 180 eggs per capita per year. We are very uh, below the this uh, ICMR recommendations. So, the, there must be incorporation of the poultry units in your systems. And this is the requirement house, and the, the breeds are uh, your uh, white leg horns. Reddish land red, California grey, astrotops, white plymouth rock, white cornice, New Hampshire, and Gram Piria. It is very important uh, the breeds uh, of the poultry, and Karaknath and Jharsim. Jharsim is developed in this uh, West Agriculture University. So it is uh, nowadays the Jharsim is very important. So the, the rearing this type of breeds, you can get the maximum it from the uh, your poultry sites. And uh, the uh, duckery, duckery is the different types of uh, breeds is there. The egg lying uh, duckery is khaki kambals, Indian runners, and meat purpose uh, the duck uh, is the white packing, muscovy, 
and ILS work. These are the very important breed of the uh, duck units. And this, the Khaki Kambel give the 300 eggs per year. So it is very important uh, to give the eggs in your system so that you can get the maximum yield from your systems. And the white packing duck is very uh, fast growing duck for meat purpose. And it consumes very loss uh, feed. And it, uh, it attains the weight, the 3 kg in 40 days. So it is very important for selling the meat purpose. So you can save, you can rear the, this duck units. And this is the male and female ratio. Uh, the one rack means one uh, male, male duck. That is six to seven ducks for eggs and uh, the four to five ducks for the meat purpose. So you can maintain this ratio. This is the goat unit. Goat unit is very important. Uh, it, it required very much, uh, it very, very important for getting your uh, income. So the goat and sheep unit should be incorporated into the farming systems. It required 4 to 5, uh, 4 to 5 and 5.4 uh, square meter per, uh, per goat, the space. So the, it required the less uh, space. So you can incorporate into your farming system so that you can get the maximum yield. These are the breeds, the Telechari, Jamuna Pari, Black Bengals, and these, these, these breeds are very important for getting the maximum uh, the meat purpose. For these the breeding should be allowed the buck, buck after one year, and adult females it should be uh, allowed for breeding in 10 months. So it is very important for getting your uh, more uh, your uh, duck or more your goat or sheep. So it is very important to maintain your male-female ratio. So the male-female ratio is 10 is to 1. If you have the one uh, your male duck, uh, male buck, then it maintains the 10 uh, ducks, the 10 females. And it is very important to maintain the, your, this ratio. And it eat the feet uh, 4 to 5 times the body weight. And there must be 40 to 50 percent of green fodder for feeding purpose. And this is the sheep breed. A sheep breed is Bhakarwal, Gaddi, Rampur, Kuchi, Marwari, Bikanes, Karthiwari. These, these all are the breed of the uh, sheep. So the, the, this, this is the very importance uh, for uh, incorporate in your system in the sheep side. And this is the male and female ratio, 20 is to 1. And it, uh, the feed is 1 to 2 kg hair per day. So the, there must be, if you have the systems in the fodder sequence or you, you have the um, match crops or different type of cereal crops, you can maintain the hair. So it is uh, provide the, this hair from your systems. And uh, you can eat the uh, concentration at the rate of 110 to 225 uh, grams per day. So uh, these all the systems. It recycle or you feed through this uh, your integrated farming system. You cannot you you cannot purchase the all these feeding feeding material from the outside because this is the system. You have the crop sequence and you maintain all the feeding material from your system or recycle from the your integrated farming system models. And this is the pigri units. Pigri unit is very important, but it is uh, the community factors. All the people cannot uh, incorporate this pigri unit. So, the, 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 although this is the very uh, economically, so the, some people can uh, incorporate in these the pigry units. Uh, these are the breeds, what uh, Yorkshire's, Land's race and TNT. TNT is a very important breed of this pigry system, which gives uh, very much uh, meat in a one year. So, it is, you can incorporate the pigry units. In, if the, the cow dairy unit is there, if the dairy unit is incorporated in your systems, then you can install the biogenous plants. Biogenous plants. This is the cellular materials are broken into the methanes and carbon dioxide, a different organism. This is the biogenous plants, this is the breakdowns of the cow dung. Uh, and it can be used for cooking purpose, burning lamps, running pumps. These, these are the very important uh, gas which can be used through your biogas plant units. And it is uh, different types. It, it can be uh, two types of the uh, this biogas plants. One the floating types, uh, which is KVIC, 
vertical and horizontal. These are two types, which are vertical or, or, or horizontal. And uh, Pragati models and Ganesh model is the available to the markets. And next is the fixed dome, dome, uh, dome types. This gas plant is dome set under the ground construction. It is, it is, it is the only, the, the above is float type is only ready made material. But if you want to fit the dome type material, it is concentrated under grounds. So it is a fix, fix of the dome, fix of the, this biogen plants. And this model is made up of the bricks and cement. This should be made of the brick and cement. Available models are Janta and Din Bandhu models. This is available which can install to the underground constructions. And this is the size. If the one cubic meter size is required, and it requires 25 kg dunks daily. This is the fridge unit. If you have the uh, one hectare areas, then the, the plant, uh, this is the, uh, the, the pond side is this type. If the pond, uh, the pond construction of pond is in the lowland areas. Lowland means in the low areas where the, all the rainfall or all the water is recycled in these systems. So this is the main purpose, the install of the, your pond system is to recycle of the water. If the water is irrigated in the upland, then this water is goes seepage through your lowland water where you construct the ponds. So it recycles the water. In this, if the, so your construction should be in the lowland area. And this is the one tenth of area should be there. So that the you can construct the ponds. And the ponds should be pH of 6.5 to 7.5. And the stocking head of the five, uh, your uh, fish is the finger length, it should be 500 to 800 fingers length per hectare. And feeding is uh, if you, you have the your fish uh, rearing, then you you feed the you feed the your fish, so it should be 60 to 60 percent of the body weight. If the body weight is 60 percent, accordingly, you can feed the fish, and it should be the rice grass, mustard cake and uh, which should be one is to ones and uh, excluding this you can add you can uh, add the your uh, cow dungs daily cow dungs so the cow dung if you have the cow, uh, dairy unit then uh, you fresh cow dung uh, should be used as a um, feed for the your fish and this is the lime you add the limes three to five kilos per hectare these are the ratio of the uh, your fish which is 40 30 30 which is the type of the your fish is Ketala, Rehu and Mirga. The Ketala is your surface feeders, Rahu is your column feeders and Mirga is your the water feeder. So these are the combination according to the, the, your water table. So water table, water column. So the, all the, the columns should be used. This is the management of the pond. Pond should be very much uh, the positive. There should be the positive photosynthesis. And as you know, there is no, no more stocking roots should be there because there is crowding. Accordingly, you, you can eat, you can uh, you rear the finger uh, finger finger link of the your fish. So in the in your uh, pond, there is uh, there must be plankton uh, plank, plankton analysis. So the the you, you you should manage the ponds. Without managing, it is very difficult to rear the fish. And these are the, your pond side are the I have shown. This is the pollinator farming system. If you want to grow the poultry, then there is uh, this type of uh, stacker should be there so that the, your, uh, the poultry drop is dropped in the, uh, the pond and which can be used the fish feed. So it is very important. Likewise, this is the constructions of the tackle units and fish. Fish farming comes sericulture. Sericulture is the growing of the uh, silkworm uh, on the mulberry trees. And this mulberry tree must be grown on the boundary. Boundary or uh, your uh, um, pond dike. So that the, this can be uh, uh, used as a feed to the uh, fish. This is the farming units, which is very important. Uh, there are different types of the, the worm. The Eliosana of Potida. Coronix, excavators, and Andrelas, uh, these are the types of the, the your, uh, uh, worm. 
and uh, the, the production is 30 to 40 percent of oil because the direct, uh, it, 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 the cow dung is not used directly in the farming, in the farming compost because first you, uh, first you, you decompose as a the FIM, then after that you can add in the uh, farming compost units and it is ready for 60 days and it contains very much uh, and thick contents. This is the mushroom units, mushroom units are very important, uh, so it is uh, give you additional uh, your incomes and it is give uh, around the years, around the years income to the uh, farming community and uh, how it is used, it is the petty cost charge 1.5 uh, 1, uh, 1 to 2 kg per bags and it should be treated the 10 kg resistance and formula 100 kg per liter of the waters. Likewise, the Carmeda gene, 0.6 to 1 grams per liter of the waters. And protein side, there is a variable of the protein which is required for taking this mushroom units. Uh, and the type of the your mushroom is posters. Poster is very important, which can grow the, uh, from September to March. And after that, it is you can grow the milk. Milky mushrooms, it is the April to June, and the bottom mushroom is temperature below 25 degrees centigrade. So, these are the types of the mushroom units which can grow around the years. And production is 2.5 to 5 kg per bag. It is very important, so the, you can get the maximum because the, the, the cost of the selling is about 200 kg per hectare. Uh, per, per bag, uh, 200 kg, uh, rupees 200 kg, 200 per kg. So, if you grow this uh, the mushroom the, uh, 5 kg per bag, then you can get the maximum profits. So, mushroom unit is very important for getting your uh, incomes. <coughs> and these uh, mushroom units, this is uh, after the completion of this uh, growing of the mushrooms, uh, you can, uh, this uh, spent is uh, <coughs> at, at in the uh, fishery pond which can add the uh, fish, fish for the <coughs> fishery. And this is the APR unit. APR units not required the much uh, <coughs> your area. It is only to put in the boundary. Uh, without investing much money, you can get maximum yield from these units. These are the types of the, the Italian, uh, Italian uh, Italian bees, Apis mellifera, Apis and because these are the types of things you can rear in, the, in your systems. And if you have the, if you have this type of systems, because you all the wastage is recycling in the systems. So the recycling is very important because it adds the nutrients to, to the systems. So it is recycling of the nutrients, the farming system is very important. Suppose, uh, you you have the uh, vermicompost units. So, so how much and how it is uh, recycled in the system? You can see the number of cow is two. The dung quarter spot day is twenty five, uh, and you have the two two cows. Then multiply two into three sixty five. The total dung quarter is uh, eighteen thousand two hundred fifty kgs, and it, it is the F I M produce sixty kg, sixty uh, six thousand kg. So, Burmi compost produce 240 kg. In this way, you can see uh, this is the uh, FIM. After FIM, you can use the Burmi compost, I have already told. So, this is the nutrient contents, nutrient contents and PK. So, in the Burmi compost units, the NPK content is 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.5. This is the content of NPK. And if you recycle it in the Burmi compost unit, then it contains the nutrient content is uh, enhanced and it is the 2 kg and 1.3 kg, 2.8% uh, 2, 2 and 1.3% P25 and 2.0% two, 2, 2 KTO. This is the additional through the recycling. So, this uh, through recycling, uh, the additional benefits through this recycling system, you, you get the, this, this much of this amount of the your uh, nutrient content. Because this is only through the additional, only recycling of the your system, you get this uh, the nutrient contents. So it is very important for getting the uh, nutrients uh, in additional. Likewise, the biogas units, 
if the cow unit is there, then, then this is the total biogas salary is producing uh, is, uh, 11 tons on dry basis and FI produce 11.6 tons. So the, this, you see the, <coughs> the biogas, uh, the content of the nutrients in biogas needs, the, uh, the N is 1.4%, K25 is 1.2% and K2 is 1.0% in the uh, biogas salaries and if you you see the how much uh, nutrient added in the system you can calculate this one to this one you get this much of amount of the nutrients added in your systems and if if, if the biogas salary is used as the fim then the, the this uh, this is the your content of the your uh, nutrient content in the fim so the additional benefits through recycling of this uh, by bonus salary, uh, salary you, can, you can get the nutrient added in your system is 60.2, 61.2, uh, and 95.6 and 23.0 kg. Uh, uh, additional uh, your uh, nutrient content is uh, obtained in this, uh, through this recycling models. And this is the mushroom units. You see the total of uh, you. You use the total cattle store that is 1000 kg and total mushroom is spent is uh, 12,000 uh, uh, kg because uh, this much amount is higher because there is some uh, uh, hypha, uh, bacterial hypha, so the, this is the uh, your increase of the mushroom spent. So, if you see the, uh, the Newton content, the bacterial store is. 0.5%, 0.3%, 0.5% of NPK contents and mushroom expense which is uh, higher than your petty store which is 1%, 0.4%, 1.2%. So this uh, through recycling you can uh, add the nutrients in 7 kg, 1.8, 9.4 kg in your system. So it is recycling of the system is very important. Likewise this uh, your uh, recycling of the poultry manuals. Poultry manuals you can see this is the poultry uh, raw materials which contains the 3% and 2% K and 1% KTO. And uh, if you this percent multiply by this one, you can get this amount of nutrients. If, if you this uh, poultry manure is uh, the huge as the fish feed, then you can get this, 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 this amount of uh, the nutrients content in your pond seed. So, so pond shield is enhanced the nutrient contents. Uh, suppose you 1.5, 1.0, and 0.6 percent. So, uh, the additional benefits through this recycle of the this uh, uh, poultry manures, you can uh, add the nutrients in 51 kg nitrogen, 34 kg KTO5, and 30, 26 kg KTO through this recycling of the systems. And this is the recycling of the system, so you can uh, know you are the in uh, agroforestry system. Agroforestry system is that system which can uh, fulfill the 6 F. 6 F means, 1 F is 6 F means feed, fodder, fuel, fiber, furniture and fund. These, these those system which fulfill this 6 F, can, we, we can say the integrated, uh, we can say the agroforestry system. This is the different types of trees we can grow uh, in, in the systems uh, with uh, your crops. You see, and this is this is the uh, the uh, crops which is grown which can incorporate in the system that is bamboo plus toria plus apiculture. Uh, you can grow the uh, different types of crops uh, uh, through in, uh, agroforestry systems. Uh, this is bamboo cowpea. This is popper and direct seed rice. This is incorporate the popper and soybean crops because it, it, in the farming systems, in the integrated farming, those type of trees should be selected which have the less dense, uh, less ground density. If the ground density is more, then it, it affect the uh, setting effect the crops. So the ground density should be less, and those type of trees should be selected. System plus weeds. Eucalyptus wheat, this is popper and wheat. Here you, you can see the very less uh, density of the your crown. You can grow the different types without affecting the setting effect of the crops. 
so you can grow different types of crops uh, in the poplar trees eucalyptus gobha wheat uh, dear student uh, it is the target of the india government our the scientists the income of the farmers is to be double uh, by 2022 so how it is possible is it is possible if it is possible then it is only to way to adopt the integrated farming systems these systems can give the income around the year to the farmers and the 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 migrant workers can absorb in this integrated farming system because it give the opportunity to uh, to develop the employments that is 600 to 700 per year so it is only way to adopt this integrated farming system and before adopting before run or before planning the integrated farming system you have to know something <clears throat> because uh, first you select your site which site is approachable to you which site is better for you which site is safe for you so first you select the site where you want to uh, in, uh, the, uh, run the integrated farming system so first you select your site after selecting the site you decide the which type of enterprises you incorporate because inter incorporation of the uh, this enterprise is very important so first you select the enterprises which type of enterprises in your uh, integrated farming is to be run so selection of the enterprise is very important so after selecting after selecting you uh, you allot the area you allot the area uh, for different enterprises after allotting the area you you decide which type of enterprises or which type of crop you you, you, you incorporate in the systems because these all the product or all the waste materials is to be uh, run within the system or within the cycle so the, from the outside you cannot buy anything so that is inputs so all the inputs should be run within the systems after allotting the areas of uh, different enterprises then uh, you you make the chain of the disposal because disposal of the material is very important suppose you have uh, the 10 tons petty uh, stock how it is disposed it is contribute the different enterprises like you you have the uh, uh, dairy units so this uh, the petty stock should be disposed or fed to the cattle you know the dry feed for the cattle is 6 to 7 kg per day so this type of disposals of the material is very important and after that you make the your map where you incorporate where in which position you want to uh, make the enterprises or make or install the your enterprises so it is very important suppose your land is undulating then the, the, the crop area is the, the, the upland and the lower side the pond is there so it is very important to select the site and the land situations if the land is level then the, you can the, the dug the ponds uh, in the big, in the in, in middle side of the your uh, farming systems because this if the pond is dug middle of the area then you can uh, approach uh, different corner of your farming system so the selection is very important and these all these all the components uh, uh, like your farmer's house uh, livestock units vermicompost units and mushroom units all these enterprises is should be near to the ponds because all the waste materials or all the waste materials or the said material is directly goes to the pond which can be used as a fish feed so the the selection of the ponds is the very important so that the all the recycle should be done so the ponds should be in the middle side middle of the your areas and uh, i have already told you the, what is the size of the ponds it should be the one tenth of your total area because if the farmers is growing the all these enterprises the farmers can get income around the years is it not if the farmers can get, get the income around the year then it is profitable or this is the aim of the, uh, the objective of the integrated farming system is to around the years farmers should get the income 
so that it can uh, the income can get the maximum or profitable so all these things you have to keep in your mind because suppose you have the 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 horticulture uh, horticulture units because the the farmers uh, the daily use the daily eat of the vegetables is to be 100 to 120 grams per day so there should be one uh, plot that is vegetable that is horticulture site so likewise you select it without selecting without determining or without deciding which type of enterprise should be there it is depend upon you or that all the enterprises should be profitable so in the in the, this in the in this situations or this integrated farming system is the only way to doubling the farmers income without this it is very difficult because the migrant workers uh, you know it has a very uh, critical positions so if the observe this all the migrant workers you can develop or you can plan the or run the integrated farming system so that uh, the all the our uh, created problem that is migrant workers can get the, the job uh, throughout the years this is all about the integrated farming systems if you want to more then you contact to me uh, i will already give your uh, my email address and you contact to me i will always ready to give your suggestions thank you all